Hi guys, it's Ali here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about why we should travel. I have to tell you guys, I'm a big travel fan. This is a very big topic in my life and I would love to share with you three top reasons why I love traveling and why I definitely think we should travel. Why did I choose to come to the Prater? share with you about this topic why the Prater why this lunar park I chose to come here today because I saw so many people I was so impressed and I know that people are actually going back to their life the post isolation life is a very big deal right now so people are really going back to their routine going back to their lives and they're also gonna go back to traveling therefore I would love to share with you and I would love to inspire you to, to keep traveling because now we need this more than ever Maybe, I'm not sure about this. I haven't seen so many people at one place for the last few months. Oh, it's very windy. By the way, I have my friend here for a backstage support today. Hi. Hi. <laughs> reason that I really believe that we should travel is to open our minds. What does that mean? What does that mean to open your mind? Whenever we travel we tend to meet new people. Why? Because we're mostly either alone or we're new to this country or we're with a friend or a bunch of friends. We have no choice but meeting new people and that's the beautiful part about traveling. So whenever you meet new people you do have a normal conversation with them. You hear how they talk, how they walk, how they behave, how they even look like and these are all things that have to do with their culture, with tradition, and you basically open your mind for new things. You open your mind for new experiences, you open your mind for meeting new people, and there's a lot of wind right now. Oof! You see a lot of new places, and basically you're opening your mind. You're seeing more. This is how you learn. You learn, you grow. The second reason that I would like to share with you for why I'm traveling is strongly connected to the first one, and namely networking. Networking is also about meeting new people, but this time it's a little bit deeper than that. This time it's a little bit more, what these people do? Are these people gonna be your friends? Would you like these people to be your friends? Would you like to really network and see maybe there is a way to help each other? This is what networking is for. Whenever you know that you have one interest, you might meet another person that is thousands of kilometers away from you but has the same topic, the same idea in mind and you might have the great opportunity to network. So networking is a great idea and it's a great way to develop yourself, to even develop your business idea, even de develop your hobbies. Maybe you like to dance and maybe this person would like to dance too. Maybe you would like to record something together, maybe some music, maybe some dance, maybe just grow your own dreams. Why not? And networking is also important and it's actually a hard thing to do. It's not as easy because sometimes we tend to forget about the people that we met. So therefore it's really important for us to know how to do networking. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, stay posted because in the future I am actually also going to be giving some advices and tips and tricks of how I tend to network and things that have worked for me in the past and might work for you in the future. By the way, it just started raining. <laughs> I just touched the microphone. Okay. So the third reason, last but not least, of why we should travel. I strongly believe we should travel. And to be honest, I would even put it on the top of my reasons. It's for self-development. Why do I believe that? Can't we just stay home and develop, our, develop ourselves? Of course we can. Staying home, developing ourselves, staying in your own country is of course also a very big opportunity. There's so many opportunities around to develop ourselves. However, travel does give us a different opportunity to develop ourselves. Why? Whenever you go to a new country, you don't know anyone or you probably don't know most of the people around you, right? You're responsible for your own schedule. You're responsible for your own budget. And these are already two things that are pretty 
big it's a big deal to be responsible for these things whenever you're in a country that you don't really know a lot of people it's easy to be aware of your schedule whenever you're in your own country you have a little bit more choice however when you're alone in a place that you've never been before this is a way for you to actually learn more about yourself learn more about what you like being independent and the only person that you will depend on is you so traveling solo or even with one or two friends this is a great opportunity to develop yourself and this is something that i've been doing for the last probably 10 years and i'm very happy to have the opportunity to do that and if you have the opportunity to do it i definitely encourage you to do so self-development is a really big factor about traveling by the way guys let me know in the comments below what is your number one reason that you like traveling why do you think we should travel so share with me the so share with the comments below write it down i'm very curious to hear your opinion opening your mind networking and developing yourself The reason that I no, opa, it's very windy today, so I hope that the sound is good. 